Ditto, and it doesn't seem that way as we will be having the Palutena. I think I actually Banjo. did see a Palutena. Yep. Yeah. Palutena versus Banjo. The big, the goddess, the, the no. mid tier yeah, destroyer is... herself. And not only that, but first of all, Utopian One. Ray's Palutena, fantastic, fantastic Palutena, and he knows Banjo. Banjo is one of his mains. You've seen him. Uh, am I? Okay. Uh, so he. He's not going to be getting caught off guard by any gimmicks or anything like that. And in a strange way, though, Banjo doesn't have uh, many gimmicks to fully utilize. I mean, Grenade and Wonderwing are certainly two very strong tools, but I always look back at the description that Banjo uh, got from... Uh, from I don't remember who it was, but it's like Banjo is kind of like you know, mid-tier Lucina. Like, they just kind of play as an honest, kind of patient game plan. They get their damage where they can. Some of their combos are super sick, though, as we see that drag down there on the jump read as the hunter keeps <laughs> keeps on hunting, keeps on uh, sc scouting out his prey, especially with this, uh, with how close the damage can be and how much damage how, uh, Banjo can put on in such a quick succession. But... Like Ray just keeping his space, playing that patient kind of game. He learned from playing uh, playing Rosalina in Smash 4 and Banjo in this game. You can't force your openings. You have to let I, them come to you. I do want to dwell on the exact angle he's approaching at. If you notice this, like he goes very high and then comes in diagonally. And Ray definitely has played Banjo enough to know where basically the holes, the windows in uh, where his aerials can come out because that's, it seems like consistently, although right there we see the adaptation, the neutral air coming out. So these empty hops being called out and the back throw should be doing it. So far we actually have the hunter taking the first stop. <laughs> that ledge trap was so good, by the way, having the grenade drop down at such a steep angle, but we can look at that a little bit later. Shout out to the replay system and Xeno as the race scoops up that second stop. Uh, that first stock, the second stock of the game, but his first, uh, making sure to punish Wonder Wing, which does end up being super minus should you miss. And now the Palutena uh, <laughs> infamy can really start to head out. Just a quick 47 off of one stray Nair, and that's that's what you always have to contend with, and why damage uh, trying to get a lead and out damage this character can be so frustrating, because her combos uh, just work together and come together so effe efficiently. And challenging midair with back air, so strong. Oh man, I really want to just dwell on the fact that Ray's his uh his adaptation is so good. Remember before I was saying, oh, you know, he's going for these like big empty jumps, and then oh, Hunter has been countering that by going for these hop aerials. Now notice how these instant aerials have been consistently, consistently been punished by Utopian Ray. He just dashes back like outspaces the neutral air or something like that. He's just like right there, <laughs> not getting caught by anything. And Utopian Ray just, even if he was kind of struggling at the beginning, not anymore. His way he adapts is so, so impressive. And Ray scouting out the recovery route that uh, Hunter had taken one too many times with some of these platforms. And liking to go to platforms makes sense. Uh, Banjo is not often in free fall, so. It's, it's generally a good thing to do, but you can't show many of the same looks to a player of Ray's caliber because he'll expose you uh, with some of these quick packers, and that's exactly what uh, Ray has really been doing. 60% basically unanswered at this point, and with how he's playing around Hunter's uh, uh, more mobile game plan, but a s simple game plan nonetheless, just solid uh solid falling aerials the dash will take it okay i guess he was uh looking to dash in and did caught caught with a little bit of a sus di but man this is uh, this is gonna round out super quickly if hunter can't find his way down he's out of jumps and the overextent that was so good and not only was that so good two things happened there one platforms moved away meaning that now we have the fd variant and it was going to be a lot harder for banjo to land and on top of that recall that i don't i don't think we saw a lot of those up smashes up airs throughout the rest of that game and all of a sudden Sorry. in the last 10 seconds he throws out them back to back to back that is something that Ray will absolutely do. He'll basically just completely like hold one of his options under like palm it in his hand. And then once you feel like you finally understood his gameplay style, when he needs to just 
hop over the finish line, that's when it's like, you've activated my trap card, Palutena up air. <laughs> we do get to see the Banjo Ditto. I, Ooh, unfortunately, oh. not going to be able to go into that matchup any more than we already have. But Ban <laughs> looks like Utopian Ray is trying to exert the, the Banjo superiority as they both immediately just start with the uh, start with the lag a couple flags okay that on, wasn't just uh, me yeah a couple flags on hunter's part hopefully they are the last we see of this set but yeah it, it's not not feeling great but certainly <laughs> this ditto if i see i see skew in chat he's loving this ditto right now <laughs> Right, yeah, and the one thing is that in the last game, we didn't really see Hunter use Grenade all that much. Part of that has to do with the fact that Palutena is basically always going to be threatening uh, from, you know, anywhere with her aerials, pretty much. Uh, but this time around, we're not only seeing... We're seeing them catch each other's grenades. It's just a game of hot potato. And one thing about Ray, his ledge traps are on point with Palutena, but honestly, even more so with Banjo, because of the fact that Banjo's tools allow him to limit more options, meaning that, I mean, what the, the amount of options that Ray can somehow cover, I don't, it, it boggles the mind. Yeah, a lot of Palutena's ledge trapping ends up being a little bit more uh, reactionary, because they'll down tilt for two frame coverage, and then just wait to see what you do afterwards. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, Ray, it's really putting on the damage there. And Hunter, yeah, going to punish that Wonder Wing with yet another one. And Ray still has, I think, three in tow and a full two-stock lead. Like, this is this is kind of showcasing how good Ray is with both of his characters. And he's taking the man's skin, too. Like, default skin wars abound. These grenades to cover platforms, the, the neutral air to yet again cover jump. Like, the pressure is on point. And it doesn't stop. <laughs> Yeah, we are once more. It feels like we are reaching end game here. Well, that Wonder Wing going to be missing. Only one left, but here's the thing: Hunter only has four Wonder Wings left. Technically, Ray might have fifteen or whatever it is. I think eleven at this point. Yes, uh, ten now. SD, F, SD for the for the culture. Try and get those Wonder Wings back. Come on, Ray. <laughs> No, he's looking he's looking to close it out with or without his his quote unquote DLC. The backer does come through, so it is not a three stock. Uh JV. <laughs> JV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me explain what just happened right there. Goonery. <laughs> yep, shake my hand. Coming down. The pause, the wait, the see what he does. You jumped, you went on platform. Oh, baby. Did he anticipate it here or did he just throw it out? Oh, it. Uh, what? It looked what? like he just kind of used it, but hey, it worked. <laughs> that it did. And that's going to be. We are in quarter, so only best two out of three. Utopian Ray going to be moving on into winner's semis. Uh, unfortunately, Hunter has to make the climb through losers now, but. <laughs> oh. Go uh -huh. This is the the uh oh zone. Uh oh zone. He jumped into the uh oh zone. <laughs> okay. That can be that can be dittos in a lot of ways, and it's a shame to say that, especially since some dittos, uh, namely uh, most famously uh, spacey dittos, can be so high action and just like you're reacting to each other in super quick succession, and you have to be ready for. Uh, the quick burst options that any of these characters can have. Banjo Dittos are going to be a little bit slower and a little bit more awkward thanks to just Banjo's kit being a little bit more um, awkward and situational in some regard. So the better player is really going to shine through and Ray is the better Banjo as he closes out that set.